wakati wa wasemaji salama uh, naitwa Sixi Bet Kuzenza ni mchungaji wa kanisa la FPCT Shalom Temple ndiye mratibu wa mkutano huu ambao tunaenda kuanza kesho tunashukuru kwa kuwepo kwenu hapa naomba nafasi yangu mimi itakuwa ni ndogo tu ni mtambulishe katibu wa umoja wa makanisa mchungaji Majura tuko naye hapa ndoka kanisa la Shayuni Asante sana. Lakini naomba nikukaribishe mwenyekiti wetu wa moja wa makanisa ya CPCT hapa Kahama ambaye yeye atakwenda kumkaribisha Dr. Mkurugenzi wa huduma ya Alem Africa aendelee. Karibu. Ninashukuru sana ndugu mwandishi habari kwa ajili ya kukutana na nyinyi jioni ya leo. Ninaamini ya kwamba ni jioni ya kipekee ambayo tumeweza kukutana sote mahali hapa kwa ajili ya kusudi moja na kusudi lenyewe ni kwamba tunalo tukio kubwa katika mji wetu ambalo limeanza kuonekana kwa hiyo kesho linakwenda kujilika rasmi na ni kwamba tunao mkutano mkubwa wa injili ambao tunakwenda kufanya katika mji wetu wa Kahama ni mkutano wa kipekee ambao kwa kweli haujawahi tokea katika mji wetu tangu Kahama ilipoundwa Ati nzuri nimekuwa na muda mrefu katika mji wetu wa Kahama. Mimi ni mwenyeji mzuri sana lakini hatujawahi kuwa na mkutano mkubwa kama huu. Lakini tunamshukuru Mungu. Mungu aliweka maono ndani ya mkurugenzi wa Afrika akaona kwamba kuna umuhimu wa kufika Kahama kuleta mkutano. Sasa ni kitu ambacho kimefanyika cha baraka na kitaendelea kufanyika baraka katika mji wetu wa Kahama basi kwa fursa hii ninapenda kusema majina yangu mimi naitwa William Mugunda ni mchungaji wa kanisa la Pefa lakini pia ni mwenyekiti wa umoja wa makanisa ya Pentecost au CPCT hapa Kahama kwa hiyo kwa fursa hii naomba mlete mkurugenzi wetu Dr. Ian ambaye ni mkurugenzi wa Nuru kwa mataifa ili aweze kuendelea baba karibu we want to thank you all for being here tunapenda kuwashukuru wote kwa kuwepo hapa uh, especially the group of people that are very important in the nation and in the kingdom hasa hasa kwa kundi la watu wa muhimu kwa taifa pamoja na kanisa because you make people see and understand what is happening in the nation kwa sababu mnawafanya watu waone na waelewe kinachotokea kwa taifa. You are very important in the kingdom. God gave you the skills to use it effectively. Ni watu wa muhimu sana kwenye taifa kwa sababu Mungu alipo use muweze kutumia sawa sawa. As you heard um, Dr. Ian uh, African director or the president of this ministry kama mlivyosikia anaitwa Dr Ian uh, ni mkurugenzi wa huduma hii ya Light the Nations Africa our headquarters uh, based in Rwanda Kigali makao makuu yetu yako kule Rwanda kwenye mji mkuu wa Kigali but uh, Tanzania is a very very good country and a neighboring country lakini Tanzania ni nchi nzuri sana na ni majirani wema and i think When we talk about Africa, Tanzania is inclusive and Rwanda is inclusive. Na nafikiri tukiongelea Afrika, uh, Tanzania inajumuishwa pamoja na Rwanda inajumuishwa. We are here for the sake of the gospel. Tuko hapa kwa ajili ya jambo la injili. You know, gospel means the good news of victory. Unajua injili inamaanisha habari njema ya ushindi. After the fall of man committing a sin and being disobedient to God baada ya nguko la mwanadamu kumtenda Mungu dhambi uh, na kuanguka kuacha maagizo yake there was no any other solution than bringing Jesus to die on the cross and the good news through Christ Jesus kulikuwa kuna njia nyingine ya Mungu kuja kuokoa badala ya kumleta Yesu Kristo kuja kufa msalabani na hiyo ndio habari njema so we are here for almost two months now kwa tumekuepo hapa sasa karibu miezi miwili. Most of you have worked shoulder to shoulder with us in 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 terms of publicity. Wengi wenu tumefanya kazi na sisi bega kwa bega kwa maana ya kutangaza. We have come back to tell the listeners and viewers 
Tumekuja kuambia wasikilizaji wetu na watazamaji wetu that what you've been hearing for almost two months kwamba kila ambacho umekuwa mkikisikia kwa karibu miezi miwili probably some of you have received the guest in your communities pengine wengine nimeshapokea wageni kwenye maeneo yenu because we have engaged ourselves together with the churches that invited us kwa sababu tumejihusisha sisi pamoja na makanisa yaliyo tukaribisha and uh, in fact i take this opportunity to appreciate the cpst the churches of pentecostal church uh, churches in kahama kwa kweli napenda kuchukua fursa hii kwa shukuru sana uongozi wa cpst uh, uongozi wa makanisa hapa kahama and uh, the leadership of this uh, great monastery na uongozi wa manispa hii uliotukuka the police and the army that ensured our security in our staying here polisi pamoja na vyombo vya usalama vyote vilivyo tuhakikishia usalama wetu tulipokuepo hapa immigration that allowed us to stay here in this country uhamiaji ambao pia umeturuhusu tuwepo hapa nchini Uh, hotels the private sector and other people that we've been working together hoteli na sekta binafsi na wote ambao tumekuwa tukishirikiana nao we've been working like preparing a wedding of of uh, of our son or a daughter in a family tumekuwa tukifanya kazi kama kuandaa maandalizi ya harusi ya binti au bi, au kijana wetu nyumbani preparation can take two months or six months uh, maandalizi yanaweza kuchukua miezi sita au miezi mitatu but the wedding itself is one day lakini harusi yenyewe inachukua siku moja so our crusade has been prepared for you know being prepared in two months kwa hiyo mtandao wetu umeandaliwa kwa miezi miwili and we are here to tell you na tuko hapa kuambia the crusade is tomorrow kwa mkutano ni kesho and we are going to see miracles tutaona miujiza the man of god has arrived in the city mtumishi wa mungu ameshafika mjini evangelist dena more is a man that co- is called by god in this century mwinjilisti dena more ni mtu ambaye mungu amemuita kwenye kizazi hiki karibu God is using him mightily in a way that people could not believe. Mungu anamtumia kwa njia ya ajabu watu waweza kaamini. We have seen under his ministry lame people walking. Tumeona chini ya huduma yake viwete wakitembea. Under his preaching a barren wombs receive the power and ability to to produce. Chini ya mahubiri yake wanmama wa kasa wanapokea ujauzito na wanajifungua watoto. Tumors and cancers is nothing under the power of God. Uvimbe pamoja na cancer has sicho chote mbele ya nguvu ya Mungu. Let me tell you something else. Acha niambie kitu kingine. Maybe you may be hearing us now. Labda pengine unatusikia sasa hivi. And saying I am not anyway, I'm not sick. Uh, na ukasema kwamba mimi kwa njia yote ile siumi. But you have a need in your life. Lakini unahitaji kwenye maisha yako. Maybe you've been praying for business to. Labda pengine umekuwa ukiambia biashara iweze kuinuka. Maybe you are praying for your family to reconcile. Labda unaomba familia yako iweze kurejeshwa tena. Maybe your child is left is in a dragatic labda pengine mwanao amejiingiza amejihusisha kwenye madara ya kulevya i am here to tell you niko hapa nikwambie this is the right time haya ndo majira sahihi for you to come to the lord kwa wewe kuja kwa bwana and receive your miracle na upokee mujiza wa and i'm telling you this week naambia ni week hii right from tomorrow kuanzia kesho we are going to see what our eyes have never seen tunaenda kuona kila macho macho yote yajayo kushuhudia kahama is going to talk about the power of god kahama itaenda kusimulia nguvu ya Mungu and which doctors will not have a ground in this land na wachawi na waganga hawatakuwa na nafasi kwenye hii nchi crime rate is going to drop like a storm mambo ya ubakaji na uporaji yanaenda kushuka kwa kiongo cha ajabu businesses in kahama are going to raise up biashara kwenye mji wa kahama zinaenda kuinuka not because of the preacher sio kwa sababu ya mhubiri but by the power of the god lakini kwa sababu ya nguvu ya Mungu and the spirit of god lives in him na kwa roho Mungu anaishi ndani yake god who is using him na Mungu anemtumia this is the time haya ndo majira for us kahama kwa sisi wenyeji wa kahama to test with our own eye tujaribu kwa macho yetu that god is still alive kwamba Mungu bado yuko hai and he has never left kahama long na hajawahi kuiacha kama peke yake this is a moment for kahama huu ni mda wa kahama let's not think about any other places tusijali kuhusu maeneo mengine god has come for you Mungu amekuja kwa ajili yako maybe you have a different need labda pengine unahitaji tofauti but this week lakini wiki hii at the ground of uh, magufuri kwenye vile viwanja vya magufuli right from tomorrow kuanzia kesho up to sunday mpaka jumapili we are going to test tunaenda kujaribu we are going to hear the news tutasikia habari it's not a news of drought sio habari ya ukame 
not a news of rain. Sio habari ya mvua. It's a news of miracles. Ni habari ni habari ya miujiza. Every home that is going to attend the crusade. Kila nyumba itakayoweza kufika kwenye mkutano. Will have a story to tell. Watakuwa na sana na hadithi ya kusema. Because God, because Mungu is not limited in power. Hajafaa jazuriwa kwenye nguvu. Neither God is not limited in miracles. Wala Mungu hajazuriwa na miujiza. He has every package for every individual. Ana kifurushi kwa ya kila mtu. Amen. Amen. And I think we are going to see this. Na nafikiri tutaiona haya. In our preparation, kwenye maandalizi yetu, we have gone to every school in Kahama. Tumeenda kwa kila shule iliyopo hapa Kahama. Every student has heard the gospel. Kila mwanafunzi amesikia njia. We have given more than 200 balls, you know, soccer balls. Tumegawa zaidi ya mipira ya kuchezea kabumbu, zaidi ya mipira ya mbili. And I'm telling you we have seen God working in schools. Na naambieni tumeona Mungu akifanya kazi kwenye mashule. We have trained more than more than 7000 uh, uh, believers. Tumewa kuza zaidi ya washirika 1700 we have worked with churches uh, are almost uh, more than 200 tumefanya kazi na makanisa zaidi ya makanisa 200 we have done the work of cleaning the cleaning day in our so in our city tumefanya shughuli ya usafi kusafisha mji wetu we went in the market and the bus stand tulienda masokoni pamoja na kwenye stand yetu ya mabasi believers churches in kahama doing that waamini pamoja na makanisa yakifanya kazi hii this is what we believe as churches and this ministry. Hiki ndicho ambacho waamini pamoja na makanisa tunafanya hii. We preach the complete full gospel. Tunahubiri injili iliyokamilika. The spirit, the soul and the body. Roho, mwili na nafsi. The spirit cannot live without this holy body. Roho haiwezi kaishi bila mwili huu wa nafsi. And the body cannot live without a soul. Lakini pia mwili hawezi kuwepo bila nafsi. God has left us here to do something. Mungu ametubakiza hapa ili tufanye kitu. We are mindful about our community. Na hilo tunajali sana kwa habari ya jamii. I call upon every church. Ninaita kila kanisa. I call upon every government uh, civil servant. Na muomba kila mmoja kiongozi na 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 huduma serikali. I call upon everybody business people. Na waomba wote wafanye biashara. Let's work together for our own uh, our community. Tufanye kazi pamoja kwa ajili ya jamii yetu. Community cannot be run by only business people. Jamii haiwezi ngozo tu na wafanyabiashara and the country cannot be run by only a politics na wala nchi sana tunamhitaji kila mfanyakazi to join the hands together tushirikiane kwa pamoja for the betterment of citizens kwa ajili ya kuboresha maisha ya we are here for peace as a light to the nation tuko hapa kwa ajili ya kuleta amani kama huduma ya evangelist dana more mwingilisi dana more is preaching the total complete gospel anahubiri injili iliyokamilika katika spirit soul and body kwa maana ya nafsi because we believe that kwa sababu tunaamini katika God has saved everyone Mungu amemwokoa may the lord bless you Mungu ambinguni awabariki and uh, hope to see you tomorrow na natamani kukuonea kesho and receive your miracle now uh, he's asking a question about the security and the kids that get lost anauliza swali kuhusiana na mambo ya ulinzi na usalama kwa habari ya mtoto anapotea but i want to assure you lakini nataka ni kuhakikishia all stakeholders are together working together washikadao wote wanafanya kazi kwa kushirikiana we have believers tunaoamini in charge of ushering department ambao wana jukumu la kusimamia mambo haya and we have created a center on the ground na tumejenga kituo pale kwenye viwanja there is a tent kuna hema MCs every evening uh, wale watangazaji kila jioni will be telling people if you got lost or you want to find your kid got lost go to this tent watakuwa natangaza watu kwamba kama kuna mtoto amepotea au namtafuta nenda kwenye yamani we have what we call call center na tuna kitu ambacho tunakiita then na kituo cha cha kusanyia a place where people call for any question sehemu ambapo watu wanapiga simu kwa ajili ya swali and we are working with police na tunafanya kazi na polisi we are working with ame tunafanya kazi na we are working with the, the, the security company private security company na tunafanya kazi na makampuni binafsi ya mwili and also the believers in the churches who designated for the security department lakini pia na waamini makanisani ambao wamelengwa kusimamia eneo la but of course we know those cases are always happening lakini pia tunafahamu kwamba changamoto hizo zinajitokeza so if you have any 
inquire, uh, inquiry, you just bring your cheat to the stage. Or you take it to the call center and then the call center will give communication to the people who are on the will give communication to the people who are on the call center. Uh, anything, we are ready for everything. But the most of all, we are ready for everything. For everything. But the most of all, like in the most of all, He's talking about um, a gender violence yes. based on the women and children and their children. Yeah. So, and you have said that you have got a special prayer praying for those kind of issues. So, what has motivated you to do that? Well, we know devil is not always happy with any development or transformation happening. But we are not scared of devil, but we believe in prayer. Because the spirit leads the physical. Our God is a God of invisible and visible. So we dedicate the country into the hand of God. For unforeseen things to be controlled by invisible spirit. Because anybody who commits a sin is under influence of the power of uh, Satan. And we cannot rule out the devil by using fresh. But we can call the power of a Holy Spirit to come and take control to feel the people and think right. So we are preaching the gospel gets into the mind and gets into the heart. But the change and transformation is done by God through his power and the spirit. And we believe the country where we are is the place God has given us to grow through. We believe God before he calls his people to be a citizen of heaven, they are citizen of the earth. So we are the citizen of this country. And we are responsible for our country.